this is the reason why I don't have a girlfriend. This is the reason why I don't trust these. <laughs> well, fellas, 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 today we have a pretty crazy video where in this world, if this would have been the other way around, it would have been way more worse for the guy. But since it's a girl, they don't really make it out to be that big of a deal. Okay, before we tune into this video, I want to say this is the reason why I don't have a girlfriend. This is the reason why I don't trust these bitches. You just can't trust any one of them because you never know, no matter, no matter how much money you got, no much, no much confidence, swag, whatever you want to call it, somehow, someway, there's going to be that one female who's going to get away with a lot of it and you wouldn't expect it to happen, but it can happen. Before we tune into this video, I want you to drop a like on this video if you're single with the kid. You feel what I'm saying? Because I'm single. If you're single, hit that like button right now. This is a crazy video. Basically, it says, simping gone wrong. Dude gets, can't say that, and robbed over $52,000 worth of items, including a $40,000 Rolex after meeting a woman at the bar. Well, there, you're right there. You already messed up. You know what I'm saying? You're going to meet a girl at the bar. She is there for a reason. Now, let me tell you all this now. If a girl is, you will never find, if you find your love in a bar or a club or anything like that, you're messed up already. Because the reason why a female is at a bar or a club, they're not there to go shake some ass. I mean, some of them are, but they are to shake their ass for the guys to come over there to get them to buy them drinks and take care of them, blah, blah, blah. And so this girl got lucky. She went with the dude that had hella money. As you can see, he had $40,000 $40, Rolex, and she stole over $52,000 worth of items. Now, you're probably wondering, well, how did he get into the situation where he's not able to know what's going on? Well, that's because the girl decided to drug him, you know what I'm saying, to give him something that's not, that wouldn't get him in the right mindset, you know what I'm saying? We're going to tune into this video right now, but this is one of the reasons why you can't, I don't even want a girl like that, for real, because this is exactly what they can do. And this is why you can't trust, this is the, this is the reason why, after watching this, this is going to be another reason why I don't really mess with relationships or having a girlfriend as of right now. I think I'd rather have a relationship where we see each other every other so often. Because either way, people get tired of each other eventually. No matter how much y'all do, no matter how many gifts, surprises you do for somebody, eventually somebody's going to get tired. One or the other is going to get tired. And it happens a lot of the times, no matter what you've done, bro. We got to tune this guy down. Video. Because this is crazy. I'm not, we're going to tune right into it. Let me go ahead and go show y'all right now. A simple gone wrong, dude gets and robbed over 52000 worth of items, including a $40,000 Rolex after they meeting a woman at a bar. <laughs> Trust these females. Y'all know that. Let's see, what, let's see what's going on. Let's see what really happened. This got uploaded today. This got uploaded today. It's at 84,000 views right now. Let's see where this is at and what all went down. You're looking at a woman who Fort Lauderdale police say. I mean, look at her. If we're going to be completely honest, she looked like one of them girls that was waiting for a dude to take him home. Now, see, the thing is, you can't even really be mad at her. But then again, though, then again, if she did something and put something in his drink, yeah. But if his thirsty ass went to a club to go get a thotty like this, well, that's on, bro. And yeah, I'm calling her all these names because, bro, that's, some of these females really like that. Watch out. Let's see. Let's see. Hold on. Fort Lauderdale, Miami? Florida? may have drugged and robbed a man at his Los Olas apartment. Look at her. Look how she walking. Look how she... Oh, my gosh. Apartment ...in June. According to detectives, the man and the woman met while they were both at American Social on East Los Olas Boulevard on the evening of June 10th. A few hours later, the two walked back to his place just a what? few blocks away and could be seen walking into the building hand in hand. So she, she got that, man. She got that, man. She knew exactly what she was doing. She was looking and she was scouting. She was looking and she found the one, you know, so probably like got him to look at him, her even more, if that makes sense. Probably doing some extra little moves. Honestly, probably, probably just went up to him. You know, that's just how some guys are, though. You feel me? Like I said, if they're in, a, if a girl is in a club, she's not in there just to have fun with her friends she's trying to dance on something she's trying to get pipe down i got a bad minute right now she got a gucci down ready to get pipe down you know what i'm saying like and they went up to his apartment but the next thing the man knew he was waking up around 6 a.m and the woman was gone 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 this lady this right here 
she had she already had everything planned. She knew what she was doing. She knew what she was doing as soon as they left the bar. And then they came into a place like this a few blocks down. If y'all ever been to like Miami, like everything in that area, if you're in that type of area right there, you got some money. So bro had some bread. You feel me? Bro had some bread. He just messing with the wrong ones, bruh. Let me tell y'all now, bruh. Don't mess with these wrong females out here. They out here. They out here. And they'll do you dirty. No cap. I even have a, mm, I, am, I even got down. <laughs> Along with several of his personal items. In total, he told the cops she stole his Rolex and Breitling watches, his iPhone, and his wallet. Added up, she got away with more. Well, okay, so added up Rolex, watches, iPhone 12, and a wallet with a thousand. So first of all, that's on you, bro, honestly, for leaving everything out. I ain't gonna lie. If I even bring, if I even think about bringing a female to my area, when I say I literally move everything across the room, I literally move everything across the room because these females be acting all innocent. They are not innocent at all. At all. And let me tell you this now. If a girl is already talking about your jewelry, what you wearing, anything like that, go ahead and take her out on a Wednesday to the garbage because you don't need her. Go ahead and take her out. If a girl is looking at any of that, which most likely that's what all girls are looking at, you don't need them. That's why relationship, like once you get once you get a girl in your life, everything's gonna go downhill because you gotta like if it's a girl that's like, you actually love for, you love for, you care for, it's it's tough to say, but a lot of these girls out here, a lot of relationships is hella manipulative. Okay. Most of the time it's the girl manipulating the guy because the guy don't want a loser. You know what I'm saying? Now you hear all these songs, right? You hear all these songs about girls getting bought all this YSL and Gucci and all that stuff. That's what they want you to do. But eventually, they're, they're going to get tired of that shit anyway. That's why, look, if anything, focus on you, King. Focus on you. They're going to come to you. And even when they do come to you, don't even let them get that much time and effort out of you. Because all they're trying to do is use you so they can get to where they're trying to get to. Speaking facts, let me get a fax down below in the comments. More than $52,000 worth of stuff. In that camera angle from the apartment building, you can see her walking out alone about two hours after she walked in with the victim. Now, police are hoping you can help identify her. That is tough. Bro, she, like, just think right here. When she's walking out. Apartment building, you can see her walking out alone. She's walking out about smooth. First of all, look at her. Look at her like if you first of all, this is the type of girl that I even get my attention in the club or any type of bar. But see, here's the thing: if she would have gave him something in the bar, which most times has happened, I actually can't even lie. I've had a time. I've had a time where this girl handed me a drink, and the drink tasted a little, a little salty, but like a little sweet. I was like, this shit don't taste right. You know, I, I still took a couple sips or whatever, but I didn't end up finishing the whole thing. Turns to, and I'm not even lying. I'm not even lying. I'm not even lying because the drink was still here the next day, right? The drink was still here the next day, right? I was like, I have the exact same drink upstairs. Let me go taste both of them. When I tasted the normal one and the one that she gave me, bro, it, that water or whatever, what was in that tasted like, the ocean water. If y'all ever been to like the ocean, how salty it is. And like, I was like, oh, nah. Turns to fire. I go to the bathroom. I go to the bathroom. I see a package slightly kind of open, kind of like tucked at the bottom of the trash can. Tell me why. I don't mean why. I can't even say it. I'll probably do a story time on this. I never did because I just never like thought that I should put it out on the internet. Tell me why. Just know it was something. I don't think I could say like everything on the internet because they might try to like say something with the video because it has something to do with, I guess, drugs or whatever. It was a package of something that it would basically kind of make me like aware, but not as aware. You know what I'm saying? I can't really say the, the all the terms because I don't want to get this video demonetized or anything like that. But yeah, that's that's happened. That has happened. Now, like I said, I didn't drink the whole thing. It was a little bit of water. I stopped drinking it after like two sips because like this shit is salty. Like this shit is salty. Like, did you put your mouth on this? Cause this shit is salty. You know, so I was like, oh, nah, I'm cool. And it was crazy because like I asked her if she wanted to drink to try it out. She said, like, nah, if it's salty, I'm good. Trying to play it off. 
knowing damn well she knew what she put in that goddamn bottle. Uh, and I'm pissed about it because... I'm pissed about it because I can't believe I let that shit even happen to me. Like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't expect somebody to do that, though. You know, if I ask for a bottle of water, I wouldn't expect you to do all that. But that just goes, that just goes to show you how these females are trifling. And it's a tragedy that they have to do some shit like that to get to where they're trying to be because they can't do it on their own. That's the reason why your boy is single now. You know what I'm saying? Your boy has a long distance relationship to where if you want to do something, okay, fine. You're over there doing it. I'm over here doing it. You know what I'm saying? But it's not like a faux L locked in. I'm not going to be full L with somebody until, you know, we married or we're actually living in the same place where we have to see each other every single day. I will never, ever date a girl that I have to, like, meet up with and go out to dates and then I only get to see you any other couple of days. Nah. Because what are you doing on those other days? I got to be smart who y'all mess with because these females, they out here and they will get you. I'm going to be, I'm going to keep it a butt 50 with you. I ain't going to cap. I've had a girl tell me she could use my, it just, it, it's crazy, but I have a lot of story time. I had this girl tell me that she can really use my bottom half for her OnlyFans, like, go crazy. Like, she wants to do, like, she wants to come down for a weekend and get just OnlyFans content without, like, my face, just, like, my body half showing. So, basically, she, you know what I'm saying? To think that you would put yourself out there and you want to come down on a weekend and just get as much as possible. Like, what are you really trying to do? Like, what's, what's really going through your head, shorty? You know what I'm saying? I can't trust you, but a lot of y'all been asking, like, where are the, where are, where are the shorties at? What happened to the shorties that used to be on your channel or bringing shorties onto the channel? It's this, like, females like this is what makes me not trust any of these other females, especially if they're at a bar or at a club. Because then a lot of shit could be turned on to you because y'all was both intoxicated. But turns to find out she was with one doing all the extraterrestrial shit. You know what I'm saying? It's tough, bro. It's tough out here. Hard out here for a pimp. When you try to get that money for the rent. Mm -mm -mm. Nah, for real though, bro. Be careful. Be safe out there, man. It's your boy, the kid, RJ. Another reaction coming tomorrow, man. I love y'all. Peace.